Greg Powers, Dave Campbell's Texas football, and I'm joined by the big man, Owen Hollenbeck. Always making me look small on camera, man. I, I don't know. Uh, you're just, a, just like a ton of bricks out there moving people around on the offensive front. I want to talk about the team at Melissa, though. Mm -hmm. Dude, your all offensive line is yeah. loaded. You're not the only one. I know you want to give a shout-out to some of your teammates out here. Yeah, we're, offensive line-wise, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, we got Demondre Tasby, Jake Brown. We got a newcomer, uh, yeah. Max Wright, Ryder Slate, and Grace's fan. It's going to be fun this year. On all one, of, one of the best offensive lines, undoubtedly, in the entire state. I actually am going to go ahead and call it. Melissa and Prosper, the two best offensive line units in the entire state, just miles away from each other. You're going to be a senior leader on that offensive front. Why don't you just kind of talk about your evolution as a leader, as a player there at Melissa? I mean, really, it started off with me. I was a freshman on varsity. I mean, I was the youngest guy on the team. Um, I mean, I've been on. it's going to be my fourth year, going to be a starter too. Yeah. And so I was very quiet coming in my freshman year and, like, just learning from, like, Nigel Smith, um, guys like Sam Finnegan, um, and a bunch of all the other guys just like helped me like evolve so much and just like become like more of a vocal leader, more of a how to show people what to do. And it's just really helped out a lot. And I hope I can pass my knowledge on to most of the younger kids. I've always had fun like watching your game because you're a guy that, that when you trap somebody, mm -hmm. you're putting them in the dirt, right? And that's yeah. like, I'm everybody who's watching this video that watches Dave Campbell's and stuff, they know like I'm an O-line junkie, mm -hmm. right? Um, you're pretty versatile up there, but have you thought about what it's going to be as you transition to the future, um, center or guard, or does it matter? Um, I'm so where I'm going right now is Oklahoma. Committed to Oklahoma. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, especially with Coach Beatenbo. And I'm really I'm going to, I'm going up there for center. Okay. But I'm also going to be I might play guard as well, and so I'm looking forward to that because I can play both and like go up there and I'm, hopefully I can just take it by the handles and just go on with it. Tell me if I'm in the ballpark. All right. I compared your game to Creed Humphrey. Was that beating Bo's pitch to you? Yes, sir, it was. It really was? Yeah, I've heard a lot of that. Everyone calls me, like, uh, Creed Humphrey 2.0. That's what I've been hearing a lot from the – I'm not going to lie because I, I saw Creed actually um, – when he was coming through the recruiting process, Oklahoma was in my territory at that time, and I saw Creed at the uh, NOLA Nike camp. And I've seen you at the same camps, and, like, it instantly registered for me. So it's just kind of ironic and, I guess, um, unique – that you ended up picking OU, mm -hmm. and you know I saw those same char characteristics, and now to hear it makes me it validates me a little bit, man. You know, and we yeah. all need that. Um, really, though, honestly, what was it about OU that really pulled you in, wanted to, to you to like be a part of that program? Um, was it a slam dunk the whole time? I mean, I worked for it for a long time because I've I've always really liked Oklahoma a lot, even even before like. A lot of people say like I'm following Nigel or because my sister goes there. Yeah. But really, I've just I've loved it for a long time. Um, I've loved how their their play style. We run a lot of their stuff in my school, so it's like just a bunch of stuff that is all fed into it. I really love Coach B, and I really think he can help me just become a better athlete and maybe move on to that next stage. I ain't gonna lie to the fans out there now that you're committed. Okay. Back in when y'all were going through this, Nigel told me you were recruiting him though. You. Yeah. I would, so it's the opposite kind of what the fans <laughs> might think. Yeah, I remember a lot of them. I'd always, like, push them towards it, or I'd always bring it up and be like, hey, man, like, <laughs> what's OU doing with you lately? Or, like, you've been talking to them? Or I was, I would always, like, mess with him and yeah. always try and get that out of him. But uh, hey, I'm glad he picked what he picked. Looking forward to next year. I know Melissa is wanting to win that state championship mm -hmm. ring. Um, just kind of give us, like, the behind the scenes. How's the team looking right now? And do you guys think that you feel that confidence coming back for next year to potentially pull that one off? Yeah, confidence is going actually really – It's oh, there's a lot of it right now. I mean, we got two new quarterbacks, and they're both great. One of them's already multiple offered type yeah. guy. He's coming in from Alabama. Uh, I've worked some center with him. I've done snaps, talked with him. He's a great guy. I've seen him work out. And then uh, another guy come from Brewer, I think. Is that where I was going? Uh, coming from Anna. Anna, okay. Yeah. So Jaden Sides and his okay. brother Brett Sides, they're okay. coming in too. And they're both great guys. So the future is bright at Melissa. I'm gonna it's on the offensive line. There's a lot of talent there, but there's other guys as well. And I know that you're hungry to look for that ring, man. Thanks for the time. Yeah. Congratulations on your commitment to OU and good luck in the 2024 season. Thank you. Yeah. It means a lot.